Welcome everybody to the Music First Hand live streaming showcase. We are live here from Cuvee Coffee in Austin, Texas. This is like our 2000th anniversary or something. Yeah, about that. So, I'm Three. super excited. Maybe it's number 12, 13, but um, <laughs> we do this to feature local artists. And we're a group of volunteers and we do it because every week we get the love online from all of you, the likes and the shares, what keeps this show going. And we are here to support local music, so we hope you will as well. And so please like and share and participate because while you're online, you can send in your questions. We have about 100 people here uh, working. <laughs> we do, these guys are laughing, but we really do. It's huge, it's the biggest crowd you've ever seen. And uh, we've got a, a team online that are sending me questions to this, um, to this WeberNet thing that sends in questions, and so we'll technical. be tracking them. It is, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. But hey, here's what's really exciting about this, is that I'm so not funny, and you all told me this, <laughs> that we've brought on Becky Jo Neal. And you know Becky Jo <laughs> from Esther Follies. She's funny, and I'm not. So that's why she's here as our co-host. And so, Becky Jo, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you so much for having me. I also am maybe also only on this show because they couldn't get you to wear makeup and ridiculous bare buns and I to tried. be charming. I tried. I no, was going to wear the chicken mask. Oh, you should have. You should have. Yeah, that was shade. Thank you for picking up. <laughs> no, I'm really happy to be here. Uh, it's my first time doing anything like this, so bear with me. I'm probably going to ask, can I say that 100 times? So can I? Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, if we're going to start it off, I'm really, really excited to introduce this group to you because I have been stalking them for a week now um, on the internet and various social medias, and also I'm under at least two of their beds on a regular basis. Uh, this, under, not on, sorry. Uh, the basis of this conversation today is Minds of a Different Kind, this wonderful uh, and incredible rap and hip-hop group. You guys want to introduce yourselves? Yo, yo, it's Shot Clop, straight <laughs> out of Minds of a Different Kind. What's up, Austin? Black Child, Minds of a Different Kind, what's good? Peace, uh, my name is Nick Cruz, AKA Pip Damascus. What's up, y'all, I'm Bizza, Sleep Nasty, uh, whatever you wanna call this, MDK. Chill, chill. And my name is Flo Bama, uh, producer, <laughs> beat maker, video guy, yeah. I make sauce, all kinds of things. Hermit Kingdom, Bring the off. flavor. Hermit Kingdom, representing Hermit Kingdom, what's Represent up? Represent the Hermit Kingdom. Hey, with no further ado, Let's go into a song. Mm -hmm. Hip hop. Ooh. Let's kick it. Hey. 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 No, yeah. no, no wet grinding. Yeah. I don't uh, feel it. No, no, no wet grinding. I don't do no, no, no wet grinding. Music first hand. No, no, no wet grinding. Hey. No, no, no wet grinding. No wet grinding. No, no, no wet grinding. If you can't do no no wet grinding. Yeah. No, no, no wet grinding. Dark matter created a cake batter, brain splatter, mathematics fact that I'm matter, let me at him. Cupping at him, receiving a corner, penny pinching like I'm hard away, hardly coughing. Shoot more rocks with dick plots like boom dots, trade burst with boom box, boom back, that's two hops. Fuck, do they talk back? Understand the method, imagine a man's record, a reason to show pressure. Fathom my aggression, a personal impression. Pinpoint this at, let's talk, walk with this moon. Consume these scenes as I hum to this tune. My tool that is the sun that the stars is the uterus. Computerist, computerist, head of the equation, man, complication, complex computation, taking moderation. moderation. Fuck, I look like this hood astrophysics, written so hey. exquisitely hey. popping a house appendix. Hoping niggas get the message, can you feel the texture? Without the pain in my theory, can you catch the pressure? I'm eating beans and rice, my nigga, I need a light gestures. Watching people catching waves, ooh, my light test me. While I'm swallowing the page, my pen stay in hands, my index pristine, my picture presented. Behind the scene of things, my eyesight it capture these moments that don't last for Elbow, whatever. whatever. You can get the money. money. You can get the power. power. Sitting in my prime, find an hour, never landed. I can't be trying to take it. Take it disrespectful, it's niggas. I, what would you do if position was ours? All of these questions I do not know. Hey. Try fight with people you came up with. On some hip hop shit. Guess it changed a bit. No mind of shit. Best in my life in this. For Christ's sake, wake and bake daily and take. MDK branded. I'm candid with these letters. Serious with I carry. Wack and see the organ buried. Spin from 
the core, I'm the score with 9 4. Four we split the pie, this for you and I. Yeah, 2011 rounds, back to Hampton basement times. Kids bust with no rise, yes, be on our time. Yeah, most still be blooming, keep the city booming. I'm chill checking these calls because they think it's back in season. Run me my checker, steady your mouth, your business bad for me. Even while walk on a straight line, we Flatline and whack rhyme, we building legacies as MDK. Flatline and whack rhyme in this MDK. Flatline and whack rhyme in this MDK. Flatline and whack rhyme in this MDK. Yeah. Heart stopped in flatline, death given about 45. Left death meant the minds find more than living in life. Long nights where the passion will push you to stay away. Wrong rights in plain sight, my people carry the weight. I ain't carry the weight, that's what I care to debate about. What if you take steps, majority gon' wait around. Plan rhyme, but to me the hottest sign of progress. Someone ain't offended, you ain't really made it far yet. You ain't found the lane, you ain't crashed the car yet. You ain't took a real loss, you ain't made a large bet. You ain't superstar yet, you ain't raised the bar yet. You ain't cut deep enough to even leave a scar yet. You just might get forgotten. The minds we locked in, you just might get forgotten. The minds we locked in, if you ever thought we dropped it, that's a no-no. We never been so-so, MDK. Yeah, I'm chit checking cause it's only right. Low nights chatting that pattern cause, cause they, they having lonely nights. nights. The same ones think they masters the rapper yeah. can't even much hold the mic. Tell em. You should just pass it to the left and, and leave it to the minds. Cause they keep asking how we got here. Look, we just, just follow signs up this hand to us. But we slice this shit like easy pie. Never burnt around the edges till it's good inside. Yo, I'm willing to take you out, saturate and shine. Hateful lines cause you ain't got a message. Spilling lines, you out of touch with the coach. Yeah, you ain't never been in over nothing. So I can't function with you. And when you see me with the crew in the club, don't be trying to hop in pictures. Cause them conniving ways what got you in the worst ways. On the ground like Frazier, for testing my patience. We underground and do not stand with the non believers. You unseen like a Pegasus. Loose lips gon' get you in your whole coup kicked in. Believe that. It's MDK, man. Austin, Texas. You know what I'm talking about? Shout out to all my people. Yo, I'm shit checking these posts because they think it's lack of season. Run me my check instead of your mouth. Your business bad for me. Even while walking a straight line with sissy casualties. Flatline and whack rhyme. We build a legacy. It's MDK. Flatline and whack rhyme. It's MDK. Flatline and whack rhyme. It's MDK. Flatline and whack rhyme. It's MDK. Why? 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 Yeah. MDK. Straight out of all of them. MDK. Salute. Hey, What up? That was so crazy rapping sitting down though. Give it up. <laughs> we have never rapped sitting yeah, down. Yeah, it feels hella like, weird. I was like, like, how live do I get in the chair? Like, you know? feel like it's trying to find my voice. I, oh yeah, you got that black shirt on by the chalkboard. <laughs> We out here. I was waiting for you guys to jump on the table. I was just like, right, that would be super dumb. Just swish it all out of the way. Yeah. Super yeah. dramatic. Hey, thanks everybody for tuning in. We're with, we're here with Minds of a Different Kind. Uh, this is music firsthand, and we're here on the East Side at Cuvee Coffee Bar, the best coffee in town. East Side. Man, that's good. So you guys just had a new album come out, Borderlines, in March, right? Yeah. Okay. And it sounds like you guys have known each other before. I could tell it was tight. You guys know each other. Quite a while, yeah. Mean, you guys just met. I, I, I wanted to. I wanted to make sure. I thought. I thought, I thought there was a few points there. I think these guys just met before. Right. I was gonna say I was doing my research and I found out y'all met in it like at Cy Cipher. Tell me a little yeah. bit more about Cipher. Yeah. You wanna talk about that? I really. I'm super interested. I really would like to know. It sounds incredible. Yeah. Um, the Cipher Hip Hop Project is a nonprofit that started in '07 uh, by Shannon Sandrea. Y'all met her a little earlier. Yeah. And uh, Gator, he goes by Guido now. Um, <laughs> yeah, so they went to all these different schools or like randomly already new kids that they were mentoring. Yeah. And um, they came to us and was like, yo, we're doing this program for youth. Um, it's going to be about hip hop. And it came to be a lot more than that, you know. But uh, yeah, I think I was the youngest at the time, like 14, 15. And. Yeah, I think Shaw was the only guy at first. It was all <laughs> girls. That's not bad. Right, yeah, it was like, all so girls. It was like, and then it got ruined. Like yeah. The there first. are a bunch of dudes now. I mean, like the first meeting, you know, straight out of, out of after school, we were meeting at another community, kind of like building for the people, you yeah. know, to just have meetings. Um, and I walk in, and yeah, I'm, I'm expecting to see MCs. This is where I was in my <laughs> journey. I'm, I'm expecting, when I'm thinking MCs, I'm thinking men. And so I, that's where I was in my journey of really just, like, what I knew and what we, 
you know, our, the beliefs we build as youth, like, yeah. no, it's not just men doing this thing. Yeah, give it up, give it up for it? female That's MCs. Insane. Yes. Man, we really out here just living the change we want to see. Um, That's incredible. Give it up, you know, it's like, it's happening. But if you were the only man in it, like, how, did, how come I didn't find out about this program? Come on, man. <laughs> I mean, what no a blessing it was. Good. Like, it was such a blessing. It really took me out of you know, being distracted when there was not school time because yeah. I had something to do when it was class. And after school, a lot of, that's what happened to a lot of us. We literally hit back in the streets and that's how I found the tool, hip hop. We were all blessed to, to have a place to be mm -hmm. and they created the space. And you yeah. guys collaboratively as a poetic voice are incredible together and it's like pretty clear how long you've been working together and that it's developed, it's amazing. Thank you. It's really awesome. Yeah, it's that. been like a decade, I think, so, you know, <laughs> it's quite a long time. That's a long time. That's a marriage. <laughs> that is a marriage. Common law, is it not? <laughs> it's really yeah. five years. Like, that's like it's real common law. It's yeah. a concubine right here, man. How do you put up with these guys? Where my <laughs> yeah, where are my the ring? Yeah, <laughs> where, where's all your, where's all your jewelry? Yeah. <laughs> Right? Uh, uh, let me ask then, what's different about this album that just came out, and how can people get a copy? That's most important, too, because those of you online, it's really important to support these local artists, right? Buying their merch, seeing their live shows. That's the only thing that keep, keeps that live music alive, right? It's so difficult nowadays, so please do that if you're online right now. Um, one, how do you get a copy? And then I, I do want to know, what's different about the album that you just came out with from that first album, and how you guys evolved? But how do you get a copy? So you can get that on Bandcamp. No hard copies, yeah. um, but definitely Bandcamp. That's about it. Yeah. And some some joints on SoundCloud. So yeah, SoundCloud you can get our whole slash minds of a different kind. For seventeen dollars, yeah. all go. three That's albums that we have yeah. out. Yeah, it's lit. From just from minds of a different kind. For we all have other albums out through right. different projects that y'all can find out. But that's the minds of a different kind at Bandcamp or just minds of a different kind dot com. That's where you can find our whole discography. And it, it costs a lot more than seventeen dollars a disc to produce that <laughs> oh, stuff. God, yeah. yeah. Oh, use your mic. Use your mic. Your mic. Yeah, yeah. It'll give you more knowledge than a seventeen dollar college course. That's, there you there go. go. There you go. Yeah. There but, you go. So what's different about the album now from the first one? I think well, Borderlines that recently just came out. First of all, I think that idea um, came alive last year, particularly when me and Breeze had the uh, opportunity to go overseas to yeah. Kenya to do some service with youth over there. Wow. Um, we were able to really just share creatively, you know, and really express ourselves in the ways that they're really challenged over there and doing. And so really representing freedom of expression, um, servicing as, as counselors to, to youth, transition age youth there in East Africa. So that was where it came alive. We put my father on the cover. So if you look on the cover of Borderlines, that's my pops back oh, in 95 wow. in South Side of Chicago. My last name is Darian Borders. So that's just what was alive in me. I think we all like really switched it up style wise though, like from Butter and Water, you know, even before that in Mind Elevation. Yeah. And, and I think on Butter and Water, it was, I mean, it's exactly why we named it that. It was it was just what we had to, <laughs> yeah. we, we had butter and water to cook with, and, and you know, yeah. this is like, this is what you get us, and this is, our, this is our rawest form right here. That's nice. You know, we, don't, we haven't figured out how to spice ourselves yet, you know? So yeah. Just, yeah. <laughs> you mean, you know, it was still good, though. It was still it was some tasty butter and water. Everybody likes butter. <laughs> but it's all hip-hop. We really touched, you know, some, some serious points on butter and water, or, or actually on borderlines there was that's a, the first song you know really goes into females and, and them in the industry i think as mcs from my perspective as a male mc just how do we like let's let's break the barriers like let's show some respect let's 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 stop the vulgarity the misogynistic yeah, I saw the, the B you know? word quote yeah like, like, no one could say the b word nah, yeah, cypher I mean, we or else you were about to challenge be ourselves so, like, so yeah. that's incredible how does that, like that, molding that at a young age is so important. I feel like if you don't talk about any of those difficult things early, then you end up with 40 year old dudes that are yelling like sexist and racist shit at people. And you're like, how did nobody, who, who, yeah. who forgot to tell you that that's not chill? Like nobody yeah. told you. unattractive. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like it's not cute. It's not yeah. cute to be a dick. Yeah. Yeah. Stop. So, so me and T was on that it's first dope. joint. As soon as you press play on Borderlines, you really 
that's that's just what we fighting for at, at the moment and, and other things, you know. Shout out to Josh on the beat. Yep, Josh Brown, Brown versus Board. That, Shout uh, out. With Borderlines too, um, we also wanted to just get a lot of material out in a short amount of time. I was like, yo, I want to do like five joints less than two weeks. Let's yeah. do it because we can do it. Yeah. So, and um, Foresight had already been out for a while, so I was like, yeah, we need people need to hear some more. Yeah, so, more and more. Yeah. yeah and, I think and I did everything in like a day. Yeah. On my behalf, you know, like oh get God. in there, and it was the fastest, uh, you know, I've ever written anything. Really? But yeah, at it's ever, <laughs> like the whole project was just like, all right, let's go. I'm going in. So when you, you guys, do, do, you, cause, because you got five of you involved in that creative process, right? So, and I'm sure to figure out, there's lots of debate and discussion and argument. So, you guys probably <laughs> mud wrestle or something to figure out who wins. <laughs> how, how, do you, how do you figure that out? As far as the order, I don't think so. Yeah. Yo, if you wasn't yeah. in a studio and your verse wasn't getting on that track, like, <laughs> that's, it's like show if up. you ain't showing up, yeah. like, there. You're not in there. We getting it done regardless, and we know just as individuals we rock, and we all are minds of a different kind. So we know just just it's on you. Everything everybody has a life though, yes. and so things come up, but we hold it down for each other really. At the end of the day, like. Right, like you've been doing it for so long. It's a family thing at this yeah. point. Yeah. yeah. Brent, you know, the, the Even building. if you wanted to stop and be like, damn it, now I have this thing, now I have to go, I have to write it's the song there. now. <laughs> That's happening it's now. There. That's sick. But no, shout out to Flo Bama because he did a lot of the recording <laughs> process for us and, and the beats. I'm never not going to laugh and at that. Like, I don't yo, shout out to so real much. producers out there who yeah. are, who are yeah. putting yeah. it down. Yeah. Sure. Holding yeah. it down. <laughs> holding space for artists, you know, studio sessions and putting that time aside for artists to come through and record their, their, their material, like that's, just those things, man, make yeah. differences, you know, in the game and getting material out, the content. So we want to get better, of course, but yeah. that's what it's going to take, just whole space. Like, it's that community can, and the support and everybody jump in. So then, you know, a, a serious question for you guys. If, so you guys are almost like a family now. If we were to do a reality show. Uh, yes. And so which one of you is like the serious one? Who's the funny one? Who's like the messy the, one? The, the messy one. Oh. What's the, what, how we all messy. <laughs> we all messy. All no, right. Me messy in different ways, though. There's yeah. levels, to, okay. the, there's <laughs> levels right. to the messiness. No. There's levels to the messiness. Two weeks. Literal and not Two weeks so literal. Two weeks we lived together in France, yeah. y'all. Uh, <laughs> yes, we, I wanted to see this, was, reality this, that was, this, that was this reality show. This was a reality show. It was mad ratings. Yeah. Mad ratings. <laughs> It was it was mad productive and mad like also destructive. <laughs> All at once. You know, Who smells the like, worst? I'm probably, I'm gonna, I'm probably say myself. Yeah. <laughs> Nomination. That was Nomination. so quick. She was like, I'm gonna say it. All too. Yo. <laughs> no hesitation. Yeah. No, it, that was that was a beautiful time. Like we we literally spent more time with each other in that point um, than we were. Back here, at, here at home, um, that was a time to really yeah. come close and, I mean, just gain, gain bondage, man. Is that like really the longest y'all have spent together, isolated with each other? I for mean, a period of we time? ain't never been out the country. We never toured. This was our first yeah. experience. So this, oh yeah, dude. Yeah, traveling with each other. It's like the, it's like when you take your girlfriend or something somewhere, and you're like, no, no more, <laughs> no more. She's awful on a plane. Oh my god. Yeah, you no. survived that. Yeah, you just made it. That's sick. Yeah. For yeah. you. Yeah. It was beautiful, you. man. No, shout out to shout out to Fred. Shout out to Bypass. <laughs> yes. Everybody overseas. Yeah. Shout out to Angier, yes. man. Yes. Mine's of a different kind. Yeah, we Samantha Phelps. Angier, I'm rest of us all. All that, man. We had a blast. Uh, it was crazy. We got inside jokes and we made so oh, many sure. connections over there. We yeah. built a project over there and we have a collective now and we have wow. a full length album that's about to come out. Yeah, we got on 12 vinyl. songs done oh, that in uh, two weeks yeah. with eight. eight Eight artists in French and English wow. on every song. How, how do folks get a copy of that? When it, when um, it, that is getting mixed right now. Okay. As soon as as soon as that's out, it will be all over Minds of Different Kind. Great. Social media yeah, everywhere. Right. Let us know. We can yeah. help. Promotion. And all that's social great. media platforms. And, you know, and Spotify, uh, that'll be getting iTunes, pressed up as a vinyl happened. as well. Hey, yeah. let's uh, let's come back to. I want to ask some questions about this trip because yeah. those, those yeah. photos are great. But let's let's do another song. And um, let's get it. hey, we want to hear another song. But if you're watching online right now. And I know a lot of you are, and there's some questions coming in. Um, yes. Please, send in more questions. I'm going to ask the group when we come back from this song. Let's hear it. Yeah. Did you get it? Fine. Hey. Oh. Uh-huh. Shout out. 
Shout out to the city. All the MCs. Yeah. I'm off the rig to paint the perfect picture. Uh, yeah. I'm off the rig to paint the perfect picture. picture. Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. off the yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hip hop. Hey. I'm off the rip to paint the perfect picture. Give me rhyme schemes, only seem to make me richer. Mystical capacity, you can me like you trying to pop me. You can not pop me, pop me, see, now get the fuck up off me. Yo, I'm off the rip to paint the perfect picture. Give me rhyme schemes, only seem to make me richer. Mystical capacity, you can me like you trying to pop me. You could not pop me, pop me, see, now get the fuck up off me. Bad decisions had to reach at every corner store to each his own. This cornerstone, crow in the cologne, sin of death. Rip flesh, the testimony rests. Measure success, it's the time I test your last breath. Ain't nothing left for your chest. You simply treasure less Booty dissipates a figment of imagination I try to grasp my past memories Wrap them in plastic Mental masturbation coming on the future patient I wouldn't want to keep them waiting Taylor made my present Now I ain't talking picking presents of spiritual essence Moment of deception Learn your first vital lesson Check it Hey yo the psych of the life is a blessing Stuff within the curse While so many going to church Praying the white Jesus He does remember the verse I took a turn for the worst The first converse It's references out of the hearse Yeah Yeah uh, I'm off the rip to paint the perfect picture. Living rhyme schemes only seem to make me richer. Mystical capacity to die me like you trying to pop me. You couldn't pop these poppy seeds. Get the fuck up on me. Yeah, I'm off the rip to paint the perfect picture. Living rhyme schemes only seem to make me richer. Mystical capacity to die me like you trying to pop me. You couldn't pop these poppy seeds. Now get the fuck up on me. Yeah, the thoughts in my mind, my mind ready. Lyrical warfare, cars flare around Delhi. Hard, hairy, carry forces, rubber touching my belly. Money can change a nigga, what the fuck you gotta tell me? I stay steady, walk down these streets of early winter. Nigga, before December, the goal is to crush a hater. Player, SP rally, roaches with the doses. Let me know, just understand, I'm speaking motions. Yeah, yeah, mine's of a different kind. That's how we do, you know? Yeah, that's how we do. <laughs> For the fam. <laughs> Oh, that's tight. That does have to be weird for you guys to be like sitting when you're doing this. I know you kind of want to like yeah. really, really let us know. We got, we so used to the energy, I man. The energy. What yeah. the crowd gives us is what we give back. But you know, MCs got to be MCs. Yeah. yeah. yeah I'm going to start doing this on stage, sitting on a stool <laughs> and shit. True. Like I play acoustic guitar. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what it's like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yes. I already got a serious song, y'all. Your, fan, <laughs> your like fans would love it. the studio. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Your fans are like oh, going to lose their shit, though. <laughs> you guys are sitting on stools. If speaking of fans, we got a couple questions that came in. Uh, so here's a great, great question um, from Josh Manning. Josh wants to know, what's the process for making a track? What all goes into that? Yo. <laughs> Maybe a conversation or... Idea somebody already okay. has like throughout the day, or somebody will text somebody and be like, "Hey, or I got this beat," or yeah, it's real yeah, simple. It's yeah. so like different. 10, 15 different processes. You know, it okay. might just be we all throw a beat on in, a, in the studio and and start writing and oh. and get a get a quick verse out, and that that song goes together because we're just all thinking about the same type of issues or the yeah. same type of things going on, but. Uh, but yeah, it might be, like she said, it might be, hey, I just saw this piece, so you wanna, we should write a track around this. Mm. Uh, or, or, you know, Flo Bama, hey, I just put some beats out, you know, you know, put a track to this real quick. Okay. I have something to add yeah, to so that, actually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you know how, like, on, like, pretend that you're, like, hanging out with your buds every Saturday night, watching, yeah. like, a movie, and, like, you're trying to agree, like, what pizza to get? And like yes. everybody wants a different topping, so y'all are like figuring it out. But it's like <laughs> it's your best friend, so you and you've yeah. done this like a million times, and it might be like a little different every time. But it's just like a natural process. With it's these four, it's, it's a lot like that. Yeah. Like all they need, all they need is a beat that like everybody is feeling, and then it's just like, hey, you want to go first? Yeah, you want to go next? Yeah, like, I like that. that's I good. Like yeah, not very much bickering going on. Yeah. They're like, are you guys yeah. thinking the same thing I'm thinking? Then, yeah, yeah, me too. Let's do something about it. That's so. Good. Let's go in the studio and have a pizza. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> it's really just about creating, though, man. Just the Being, metaphor. I'm sure the thing is on its You know, so free. <laughs> and, but, and a little, and an even more a tactical level, too. So once you have those beats, you're in a studio, right? Because we've, And we've got a lot of viewers who, who tune in who are not musicians. They don't understand at all what that looks like. So you've got somebody re drop, recording all the, uh, that material you're creating in there, right? And you're going back and listening to it again. And then you're just figuring out what you want to cut out, what you want to bring in there, right? Is that how that process works? The studio process, yes. It's, it's like, for me in particular, like, I literally, I'm usually already remember my verse, everything I've wrote down. And so now it's just a, a idea of really 
getting in front of the microphone and making sure I got that same cadence that I hear yeah. until I am satisfied. Like, even if they're like, yo, do it again, Shy. Like, do it again, Shy. <laughs> Shy, nah, like, hyper crunk, you know? And I so, got it. I got it. <laughs> and I'm so, I'm so crucial, but they can give me that, that feedback. Mm -hmm. And so I come hard every time. Like, everybody has their niche, that one thing that's gonna get them hype right then in the moment. So it's a lot of in the moment things for me. Like a lot of the verses from the albums and projects was a, on the spot in the studio. Song was written right then and there, you know. Yeah. Verses hooks. I think like we give each other a lot of constructive criticisms because it's uh, easy to think that whatever your ear is hearing is the right thing. Yeah. So we like coach each other a lot. Or we ask for opinions or how should I do this, how should I do that. And so there's a there's a there's a reciprocal process I think that's going on that's yeah. that's important because whenever you think that you're the shit and everything you're doing is great then yeah. <laughs> I mean, you don't really go anywhere. I mean right. I mean some people maybe do because they're so talented, but I mean you know what right. I mean? Like the the family aspect of like let's talk about it. Let's figure it out. Let's yeah. be constructive about Without the situation. Being, like, total dicks to each other. Right, <laughs> right, like, right. I love you. Sometimes <laughs> <happens>. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I just tell my family members, like, no, that, that's stupid. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you got to be open. We, we have to be open and comfortable with each other. Yeah. I mean, after 10 years, yo, know, he's the closest people I know yeah. to, in my radius, in my circle. I don't, nobody can come at me like some of them can come at me, and I don't really feel it. So just the comfortability. Like, it's just about the bond. I, I use yeah. that. The relationship helps me go hard and be me in the studio. And, yo. Know, we, we happy at the end of the day, yeah. like, yeah. <laughs> everybody did it. Uh, another question came in here from, um, I'm switching gears back to uh, your, your recent trip. So from Shannon Coyle Sandra, thanks for sending in this question. Shannon Coyle. Yeah. Uh, she says, <laughs> she asks, uh, I know you just got back from Angers, France. Um, how were you treated there and what can Austin learn from Angers? Oh my gosh! Yeah, I know. We, Dude, were treated, we need a whole other show for this. We were treated super well. Great we were question. we were treated crazy well. They um, had had you know just uh, all the accommodations taken care of for us. Uh, they put us up in a nice like little house town home for the two weeks that we were there. It was you know close downtown. yeah like close downtown. enough to walk to it was like a castle. almost okay. everywhere that we yeah. had to perform at and it was like a in, and took care of ride situations for us and just had us feeling real comfortable had us had rehearsal time set out for us had uh times for us to go sound check at each venue and, and feel wow. comfortable with all the mics and everything that we were going to be performing on and treated like it should be yeah exactly <laughs> yeah. like an artist <laughs> yeah, yeah treated like somewhere. you know maybe yeah. an artist has been doing stuff for about 10 years but uh, uh -huh. yeah <laughs> but, but, and you know if they come over here we're going to be like i think there's an airbnb or something go figure it out yeah yeah, yeah. and you know even i mean it just felt like the, even just the crowd's energy the first night, you know, the yeah. the, the show sold out uh, capacity, like 150 people, and every person was into the show. They weren't staring at their phones or, <laughs> or uh, you know, worried about getting whatever from the bar or getting whatever yeah. from the food truck right next to there. And, engaged. Uh, yeah, every, yeah, everybody was engaged, and everybody came up to us afterwards and talked to us, and the universities and the high schools and everything, like, they... The English teachers had a hip hop chapter where they the kids got to study our lyrics okay, whoa. Whoa. and yeah. study them for metaphors and <laughs> similes education system. and that is cool. slang and proper can't English. Even get basic American history yeah. correct. And, and right. it was all I mean they were all like you know we're excited to learn about the the culture that y'all are bringing over and mm -hmm. like how how that just connects to language and connects to connecting people. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it was I mean it was pretty ridiculous that like. The, the hip hop culture in France and knowing they them knowing that it comes from America were just like, yo, we're we're psyched to have some people from where this originally came from come represent it. Yeah. And, and it felt like, oh man, why, where is that at? In in the in the home base. You know what I'm saying? How great is that though, man? What a good feeling. I mean yeah. and also, you know, in in terms of the shows, the enthusiasm was, you know, higher. Yeah, you know, I mean in a way of like we never really got the feel. Nobody's um, over it. Everybody, yeah, everybody it's here seems as if like, you know okay. it's just we see rappers all the time. But there, there was a different appreciation. Yeah. There was a, a certain level of love that you know people they really sat there and, and heard you and appreciate you um, speaking out. 
-hmm. and even the youth, like, they see this media, television, but it was like we gave them a memory that they, you know, really not going to let go. And uh, it just they feel good. Watch those videos because I Absolutely. ugly cried at like 8.30 in the morning. Yeah, like, this is so cool. Yeah, you really yeah. should watch these videos. Yeah, those yeah. kids yeah. in the high school were putting each other on their shoulders, jumping oh, up and I down. Saw the and that, that, was, that, like, was that was wild. Yeah. We, we went in. The food was amazing, too. Oh, There's yeah. Nothing. I was going to ask that. Yo. I was going to be like, but Fancy seriously, how is the yes. food, though? Now, now we're talking, yeah. Wine. Yeah, yeah. The baguettes. Uh, hella fromage. Yes. Hella fromage. <laughs> A lot of sante's. I mean, cheers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, by the way, French. They were laughing at us pretty hard when we were talking about just wanting to eat cheddar cheese again. They were like, oh, they're like, oh that's no. so disgusting. Can I get some regular cheese? They just like, what's that? I don't I understand. Like 15 Red, regular different cheese. cheeses. Yeah. It's like going to Mexico and asking for shredded cheese. Yeah. You're like, the hell out. Yeah. They have the Mexican blend. Yeah, there. yeah the yes. Mexican. No. They're just like, yeah. set you on fire Holy upon it. The <laughs> they don't play. They don't play about their cheese. Or they <laughs> or the wine. No, like, they do not. Right. No, I went out there and learned specific things about wine that, that I totally overlooked. And I mean, just, yeah, the culture, like, I was very informed and enlightened. Um, they're very chill out there, and I think, yeah, we, we learn so much in terms of, you know, even recording and just how their processes look versus yeah. ours, um, yeah. how they just sit down and have just all of the time in the day when, yeah. where we're coming in a yeah. studio ready versus written, knocking them out, like, not spending a whole day, like, an hour in a studio. But, you know, they, they have, they take their time, which mm -hmm. is another thing I've seen, so it's hit, it was ill. You. How, how did that? Um, how did that trip come together? Because when we met a year or so ago, we and I were talking, and you were like, "Man, we're, uh, you said, hey, you know, anything that will help support fans that would support is really important to you." So we're, we are passionate. We are trying to put, trying to get ourselves out and get it to the next level. And we really want to travel overseas. You really work on trying to raise that money. I mean, you could really feel the passion, right? And that's part of the reason why you guys are sitting here today. I'm like, you guys got to be on the show. Yep. How did this trip come together to get over to France? I mean, I know Breeze know a little bit more, but, you know, a couple of years ago during South Bow, um, we were approached by someone from Angier, France, and, yeah, the connection grew from that. was Alexa's yeah. brother. Absolutely. Yeah. So okay. if you want to speak to how they are building. Uh, so, the home, unfortunately, I don't know why, but I forgot Alexis' brother's name, but I, I met him like two years ago at Flamingo Cantina. We had a show, we were doing an official showcase. He had been communicating with us for a little while about wanting to bring us out to Angers, but uh, they weren't able to like fund it fully. Okay. And so we were like, really the only thing that we need is like fund us our plane tickets. Cause I mean, flying to France internationally is a lot of money, especially for all of us. And yep. so we were like, if you could do that, we'll go, you know? And it never happened, and two years later, uh, Bree started communicating. And he could speak more on like the two years after that, me meeting uh, Lexa's brother. Mm. Yeah, so uh, Samantha, Samantha Phelps also was a, a big connection here in Austin um, that was just helping us out with communication. But, uh, but yeah, we started, uh, we started talking again this last year after we came back from Kenya. Yep. And uh, I was just like, all right, I was like, all right. You know, we got we so we somehow got this to happen. We can all go to France now. Yeah, this yeah. is, yeah. Uh, you know, um, and so uh, we started talking just to different people around the city, um, and reaching out to friends and reaching out to family. We set up an Indiegogo, yeah. and uh, was talking more and more with them. And they said, okay, you know, we uh, we want to bring you out to Awesome Week. It got it got canceled, but we're still trying to set up another festival as Awesome Week. Awesome Week um, bypass, which was yes. the exchange of Austin artists with on with artists from Angers, uh, which are you know the sister city, blah 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 thing. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, they they basically agreed. They said if y'all can get half y'all's tickets paid for, we'll pay for the other half, and uh, and and get y'all out here. Wow. And that I, don't, I can't remember if I was supposed to say that or not. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll check that contract later. Yeah. We out here. We'll, but we'll uh. Edit it. But yeah, it was a uh, that that was that was the thing, and so you know we just we knew the exact dollar amount we had to get to at that point, and wow. um, we started buying the tickets up, and get we, we just got there and, and started hustling. Yeah, started selling hustling. whatever you can. Um, buying merch. Yeah, made, made <laughs> some selling your bodies, whatever you got to do. Go go to get <laughs> more merch out to people and more albums out to people after the trip itself. So yeah, we got the whole album out there. Um, 
We got some new shirts and some new hats and some new just oh, yes. all kinds of gear yes. that uh yes. that, that we take us out. Yes, that is definitely gonna get us back to February, which we found out uh, at the end of this trip they are planning uh, to bring us back fully paid for. That is great, man. Uh, there we because go. it went yeah. well. So <laughs> yeah. congratulations. Yeah. 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 Go ahead. You were gonna... Oh, uh, I guess I was going to say one of the big distinctions is like this awesome week festival is um, run by Samantha and yeah. she like brings Austin artists to Angers. Uh, but we were with also another group outside mm. of the festival and also with the festival okay. of which we were able to create a collective called Bypass, which is minds of a different kind, including another group called Panton. Correct. Okay. And sure. uh, it's uh, five other guys, uh, producer and four other MCs that all kind of mirror us and our styles. Yeah, <laughs> it's, so, to, it's yeah. so wild, it's, it's so yeah. wild. Like, like, our, like our doubles or like our doppelgangers. Or something <laughs> like that. And like, uh, we were able to create an album nice. over there and in the, in, the, in the studio there was like out in the country, like it was so oh, beautiful, it was so amazing. Like cornfields. And yeah. Like, oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. But, so they, they like totally pushed us and we like stayed a, a week longer than the actual festival. That's why we were yeah. there for two weeks and we okay. did, that's why we were able to get into the school systems and speak that's to the youth and, uh, do all kinds of like crazy How great stuff. Is that? Constantly working, man. We were working so hard over no there. No sleep, no breaks. Yeah, no sleep, no yeah, breaks. It was, yeah, it was like 10 shows. We had one, one day wow. with three shows, yeah. one in the morning, one in the afternoon, one at night. All it was like high school, college, and bar. Your voices had to be white by the way. Yeah. Like, we, we were, it was surprisingly yeah. solid. Yeah, yeah we, we stayed, sounded great. We I don't know why. Good. Good. They got good. I don't know why you're we had one sound guy. His name was Igor. So he was done. Good job. Oh, I thought it was Igor. It was Hugo? <laughs> this whole time. The Igor. whole time I was like, Igor, what's up, player? I'm going to see you, fam. He'd be like, yeah. he don't speak much English, you know? So. Shit, Shit, shout Hugo. out to Igor. My bad, Hugo, dog. No, I'm sorry. If Yo, you're watching, went. bro. That's good. <laughs> He's typing a comment right now. Yo, but shout out to hey, the bypass, bro, for real. Uh, so another question came in here. So from Ashley Miller. Uh, thanks, no. Ashley, for sending your question. Um, mm -hmm. What is one piece of advice that you wish you knew when you first became an artist? Ooh, good question. Oh, Follow your gut. Follow your gut. Oh, yeah. I would say that. Yeah, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to do whatever you want because yeah. everybody, there's always going to be a naysayer. There's always going to be somebody that's going to put you down that's going to tell you you're not good enough. And there will be other people that will praise you and tell you that you're doing a good job, you yeah. know? I mean, I have never really had any, I mean, this is to my own horn or whatever, but I've never really had anybody say, like, oh, you're whack, bro. Mm -hmm. But I mean, there's people that like don't really like know what I do or why I oh, do yeah. it or don't support what I do. Yep. So you and also, know, if you commit 110 percent, do what and you, you want. Can't find a crack in it. Right. Then who the hell's gonna come? Be honest and be to like, yourself. I, I get that every yeah. week after the show. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, you're a whack. What are you doing? <laughs> no, you're doing a good thing, man. You're doing a good thing. <laughs> yeah, my job has Yelp, this platform. Like, That's worse, true. Yeah. Yes. I get that all the time. Too. I think I would say, you know, in the beginning, uh, with me, a person who was like really like trying to find my style, where my voice was was uh, in the beginning, you know, just, you know, know that your style is unique to you. Yeah. You know, once you find it, nobody else is gonna have that. It's like a, you know, it's gonna be like a fingerprint. You know, it's like what you got can be, you know, people gonna try to duplicate it, re replicate what you're doing and how you sounding. But in the end, like, it's your DNA, it's you. And just rep that, like now I'm, in it more than ever now. Like, yeah. I got to keep building it. We got to keep building the content, building the style and the flavor yeah. into, into this, keep, this continuous evolving, you know, just going in. You're committed. So, yeah. Kind of piggyback yeah. off of that, I would also say that, like, finding your own style, this is true whether you're, like, an MC or a producer or whatever type of art you make. I speak as a producer, but finding your own style is definitely, like, a process mm -hmm. that takes a long time, like, I feel like I'm still definitely, I've been making music for years and I still feel like I'm like on that yeah. process. And when you're starting out, one thing that uh, people should not be afraid to is to make something that just like sucks. Like, mm -hmm. and not get discouraged by that because finding your own style is like, it's a lot of experimentation. Yeah, finding it, you're a part of that. Exactly, and a lot of experiments yeah. fail and you yeah, have to figure out what works and what doesn't. And like, if you spend like 10 days, like locking yourself in a room and everything sounds like crap, you at least know what not to do. Yep. Yeah. So. It's like yeah. dating or 
figuring out your eyebrows. Exactly. That's it right. Works. Exactly. It's very, it takes right. a long time. It takes yeah. a long it's time. It's taken me a really long time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, on, on that note, though, hey, we do a couple songs. I know a lot of you are, are tuned in to, to listen to you guys. And Yo. please send in your questions. Um, we're going to hear a couple songs. And thank come back you. With thank some you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Black like, Brown. Yeah. Right. Let's get it. All right. We call this black and brown. We got next, man. Yeah. Yeah. We might as well give up. Oh. Uh. Black like mitts from paid in full. Black is that life. Caught my first case in a manor. I hated that night. Small pieces in the crack sack. Forced the boys to hop out. I jetted towards the side block. Running a full flat strap with your block. Talk about times when you didn't know no better. It's not that standing on the corner for that new coogee sweater. Only that feeling of sending your partners locked down. Long hood spoken letters. Used to run with my dude, but he gone. Caused too much damage to the system. Now tell me what the hell we gon' do now. Just this stay black and proud. Yeah, black, yeah. Yo, black uh, and brown. Black and brown. This, this is black, this is brown. brown. Come on. Black and brown. This, this is, is black, this, this is, is brown. Yeah. black and brown. This is black, this is brown. Black and brown. This is black, this is brown. Black and brown. This is black, this is brown. Black and brown. This is black. All my people out there. Black and brown. Austin, Texas. This is brown. My black and brown family. This is black. Yeah. Hanging on by thread. Raise my hand for a pledge. I'm protecting my neck, but now I carefully stepping. People jacking my steez. Black face with intentions. I got the power uplift. My fist consistently shifting. I'm aiming after these cops. I'm aiming after these verses. If I told you it was four, we four came out the wire. Being no press is depressing. I walk with a message. Shout out to my grounds. I'm black and profound. Brown, I can't black and brown. This is black, this is brown. Hey, black and brown. This is black, this is brown. Black and brown. This is black, this is brown. Hey, black and brown. This is black, this is brown. Hey, black and brown. This is black, this is brown. Hey, black and brown. This is black, this is brown. Yo, black and brown. This is black, this is brown. Black and brown. This is black, this is brown. Yeah, the way my folks be nowadays got my mind blown. People how my own people won't accept me as they own people. Ancestors used to be on some own people. Finally, my bloodline saw each as they own equal. It's no sequel. Hearing it here first, the real work. Want to be the wisdom. We quench search and drench search. And since birth, our ancestors, we try to track them down. We bring the culture back around. Pay respect, we black and brown. By any means necessary, shit. Ancestry got dead and buried very quick. Oh, uh, I'm on my black and brown shit like. And I'll do at the lojuro, a pura te pura. Mad melanin soapbox, keep peddling poison in my pen. We send him back forgiveness, I say. Never would they ever conjure or conquer the quest. Those are race against the aces, so many races. Stuck inside the matrix, those that weave the fret, but contain higher status. We call static to upset established order. Got me running from the border, order. Man, they got me running from the border, order. Minds of a different kind. Fix. Facts, facts. Shout out to MCs, man. Shout out to the black and brown community, Austin, Texas. Yes, sir. Hey, hey yo, we problematic. Mind distorted, so my hunger for knowledge need to be fulfilled. A deadly weapon. I ain't worried about ever being concealed. This is full exposure. Lyrically, crowds walking closer to dishonoring. Thugs and posers. I came up a loyal foot soldier. Still loyal, but we ain't gonna make it if we don't stop ranking and stop being soldiers. Switch it to reins like new Range Rovers. Criminal craze make the land colder. Criminal craze makes the land colder. Yeah, yeah. I'm probably problematic as a police pass the sweet grass smoke swivel his quotes released from the beat blast. blast. We class second hand something where we shine, shine at. Ah. Spy black criminal mind at a righteous time last. Ah. Call me Mr. Oratory. Sorry, your vision is gone. Come with gory. gory visions to a bloody slash the scene. Ay, yo, we, we seen a shine more, of course. Show no remorse because from the core, the score gets settled like ah. metal doors. I'm not a tourist, but I got the rapport of a matador. My mind shine bright, work catch light like samurai slice, slice shy shy Steve. Beginning and no one like. Like me, nightlife scene, we see be on that pipe dream. Nice ripe things we pluck from eating like trees. Relax, burning light free within the light breeze. Roots that the rebel they roots are since like light. Hey yo, that kid they found dead in the news looks just like me. Yo, this is teamwork, delivery thorough. Hunting down any and whoever seen first. Rebirth. This is teamwork, delivery thorough. Hunting down any and whoever seen first. 
Remain Bam. problematic, revolution, keep it steady. While electron bomb raw reactions stay automatic. If you, you ain't, ain't down with the kind. Sublime rhyme and Pelham on the pyramid. We serious yeah. as blank period. Hey, from, from the, the swisher switch to my system to the ones who listen. We match it through the mirror, guys, past the riddle, but Britain's Your decrypted. Decision can't force a force that's given. Your crack the code, the calligraphy, my pen will be smitten. The, the homicide, homicide <laughs> rates rising with a police hey, presence. We I give a, a damn about what ain't been done by my black president. president. Come on, presidents, to <laughs> take hold, manifest intelligence. My, my president. This calls friction ligaments, torn attention. We watching let you catch attention in the Colorado cabin. They trying to take us out, me as a victim, it's not happening. Build a manifesto. Toast the remains of the dirty mansion, it's absurd. Cats be jacking lines, they must be klepto. This is teamwork, delivery thorough. Hunting down any and whoever seen first. This is teamwork, delivery thorough. Hunting down any and whoever seen first. Rebirth, mine. Yeah, appreciate chow, that, y'all. That's how we do it. Thank y'all. Lil, shout Sante. out to the spoken Sante. word. Sante, baby. Shout out to the poets out there. <laughs> so, hey, we got a, uh, another uh, question that came in from uh, Mira Ramirez. So, uh, so, a ton of rappers move, uh, move their hands when they rhyme. They, 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 um, do you all have any signature hand or dance moves? To help y'all so get on beat. I do. <laughs> I do have some signature hand moves. Do I do. What are you? You're in astrophysics. Which one? They're in astrophysics. Show me. Show me. You ain't found your lane if you ain't crashed the car yet. Oh, no. I think they you mean like. You real I, laws I, if you ain't made a large I think they mean like in general. Like you know, it, it, I ain't got like no, like just every time I'm rapping, just, you know, <laughs> just like, you know, but. I know, I know, I know I'm always like, no, 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 whack rhyming. It's that's like true. there's like definitely some signature moves for for certain bars, certain lines. Yeah, yeah. In the, okay. You know, throughout throughout the. It's like every song's like the. You got to do it all. Like a hand thing. I just like know I have to keep out. my distance a little because they got long arms. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you throwing yeah. bows. You're like I'm we just trying to rap. We do just be like just all around. So you gotta watch out. You gotta it's watch like out. It's like matrixing back. Uh, yeah. yeah. But it works because they think it's playing. I just try and stay towards the front. That yeah. way I ain't, you know. And we do a lot of kicking sometimes. <laughs> we weave true. a lot yes. together and shit. Yeah, yeah we weave. Weave. I do this one a lot. I put in my, my mind a lot. Yeah. I don't know why. I'm oh, like, okay. Ugh. I did this with my brain. Do you, think. Do you understand? <laughs> did you, do you even know? I thought it. about oh. this. Do you even hear me? Oh. <laughs> I'm all grown Pointing at the now. mic all the time. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is on. Yes. Yes. I we, love it. It was it's, just, it's just a way of creative expression, man, yeah. as an MC. Like, yeah, I got a lot of body language. I know I, I know that if you're just being still on stage, like, what's going on, yo? And you're spitting, like, what's... what's what? That's yeah. not... I got to move. Like, it's a problem. Yeah. What's up? Get, get loose. <laughs> yeah, like, Michael Jackson man. probably wouldn't be, you know, acclaimed as much as he is if he wasn't dancing while he was doing all that singing. Speaking of MJ, yes. <laughs> he did talk about, because they asked him, um, like, how do you think of your moves? And he said he don't think about it at all. Yeah, I'm sure. right. So that always stuck with me, too, to be on stage and just not think like about how you're going to make your movements. Presence. Yeah. yeah. Hey, it's getting zone. Whenever like I rap, like, people are like, how do you do it? And I'm like, I have no idea. Because I, I don't think about it. I yeah. just do it. It's just that like streamlined. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like, this shit just come out of like, me. Your own personal at home personalities versus your MC personalities. I saw an interview where I, like, you were like, it's not, I don't, I just call myself. Now, now you're like, now you do Pep Damascus. Like, what, what is the real big difference for all of you between your like on stage presence and at home? Between who you like go to bed with at night and what you are on stage? I'm hella hype on stage, but I, <laughs> I might seem very humble and yeah. soft spoken when you walk up That's to true. me in a, in a, in a, in a HEB or something. <laughs> <laughs> Catch me on. No, he talks to everybody. Catch yeah. me on. HEB. Social butterfly. I don't talk I'm to anybody saying, I, I'm usually like probably too I want to yell. I want to <laughs> yell and I want to <laughs> scream on stage and I want to I wanna be at the highest caliber, but I'm, you know, I'm very social still, but I, I'm not that crunk. Normal life, <laughs> but don't Not don't get it twisted though. Yeah. Don't yeah. get it twisted, B. Nah, you know it's just, it's, it's style, don't man. Up on them. Yeah, don't. That would make me nervous if you came at me like you were like. You going, don't want you know, that. Like, your, yeah. You don't want to. That was just, your, you pulled your signature move on me in H E B. But he's pointing at like whatever he had, like it's like yes. a package of turkey. <laughs> yeah, doing one of these things. Come on, man. Like yeah, really that dude shy is extra chill. Uh, huh? like, <laughs> 
Nah, that dude crazy on <laughs> stage. Don't catch him in the produce line. Yes. It's not a good spot. So it's our energy, though. It's, it's you know, be original. Be you. Let it flow through you naturally, man. I don't yeah. think about it, man. I'm an introverted person, too. So when I'm on stage, yeah, a different person comes out. But I'm still nervous before shows. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I like to, like, crazy. have my time and, like, not too much time, but, like, just that little. Do you have a ritual? Yeah, what's your yeah, ritual? Yeah, that's like my little ritual. I just kind of talk to myself. Not like that, but like go over my lines. <laughs> <laughs> I go over my lines. Uh, just try to create all these, these positive thoughts. You know what I'm saying? That's try awesome. not to. Yeah. I also use the restroom, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Every good ritual. Time. Every time. Take that boo boo real quick. Oh, I just take a pee real quick. It's, it's almost every time. I get a little nervous. I'm an extrovert, definitely, but I definitely have to take a pee before most shows. <laughs> I didn't before this one, but but yeah, I, it, it's 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 interesting. Like uh, I definitely am, am a high energy person and 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 like to talk when people are talking. Just like to I like to ad lib when people are are rapping, but uh, I don't know the 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 different name personality. It definitely, I mean. Introducing yourself as something different is, yeah. is just something different. Yeah. You know, it gets you into a little mind space. I think for me, you mentioned, I'm assuming you watched this documentary yeah, watched that we did a like very long time ago. I yeah, so like a, I nice. Remember. So, like, the UT student had made a documentary for us, and we opened up for Yellow Wolf mm -hmm. uh, maybe four or five years yeah. ago, I would imagine. Ago, yeah. um, and so, like, at the time, I was like, I didn't have an alias, and mm -hmm. I still don't really own up to my alias because, like, I feel like. When I do speak, it is who I am. Yeah. But then I have like transitioned into this like phase of like I say things on stage and then rap that I normally wouldn't say as me in everyday life. Mm -hmm. And I might say some like kind of foul, gory, weird <laughs> stuff. Mm -hmm. Or like I don't know. I'm, I think I have more of, like of an aggressive personality. I think as like a, an artist, because like you have this poetic license, the ability to to say what you want, and people will take you seriously because yeah. I have a platform. When we have a platform that we have created over the years to be and able to that do what we want, seriously. say what we want, yeah. be radical or, mm -hmm. you know, be whatever sort of uh, ideology yeah. that you have, you express mm -hmm. it on the mic and people yeah. take it, you know? Yeah. So yeah, I like that, that, that poetic license would definitely made it click right there. Just like, yeah, it's this, this person is speaking to a crowd of people about, yeah. you know, something that I'm, a, a message that I'm trying to give. I'm not speaking yeah. directly to you about something that you're doing or, or that you need to change, right. but something that I see is, you know, uh, that a lot of people could use. Yeah. Even in the um, the cipher, we started off not doing songs at all, just all spoken word, yeah. and like mm. we had to call each other. <laughs> we had to pick a person to call and get to know them, come back and talk about it, and so we was like yeah. really challenged to get to know yeah. each other. Yeah. Um, so I think that helped us as well, like just being confident right. with no beat, having to actually work together and write together. Yeah, you know like being, sharing that like vulnerable artist yeah. yeah, That's dope. Yeah. So. Well, we're really glad you guys came on the show tonight. I mean, this Thank is just a real pleasure so to have, have you here. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks for the questions. So much. Yeah. yeah, those are great questions, by the way. And, thank yeah, you. thank you guys for sending in the questions online. Thanks, yeah. thanks for everybody here in the room. We appreciate you all coming out tonight. Um, Minds of a different kind. Find it on Bandcamp. Get their album. Uh, please check them out. So you guys, uh, coming up Thursday, you have... Um, no breaks. A screening. Yeah, yeah we That's have right. a screening. Not premiere, a screening. Yeah. Yeah. screening. Mo movie screening of a short film we did just this past winter. Uh, me and Black Child just kind of represent the friendship and how the development of the music came. Represent like our first shot of being able to hit that studio session and just the things that came along the process of getting to that day. Uh, you know, so check it out and see just that, what that was for us. It was a great time to act and that first appearance on camera, like for real. And so shout out to Artist Cool, Foom is the shooter. Shout out, man, y'all really looking out, man. And real filmmakers, man, women in film, black women in film too, like big ups, for real. Nice, that's Thursday and then, um uh, follow them on Facebook. Please like and share their, their, their Facebook page, their Instagram, their Twitter. Um, and uh, let me just finish by saying, next week we have The Wheel Rights uh, at Tuesday at 7 p.m., which is going to be another great show. Uh, please like and share uh, music firsthand. 
Uh, we'll have this available, the whole edited version, on YouTube coming up in the next week. Thank you so much to Cuvé Coffee Bar here on E6, yeah. the best coffee Thank in Austin, Texas. Cuvée. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you to New Standard Manufacturing, one of our sponsors. This is the best merch in town. Let me tell hey. you, these shirts are really sweet. Um, thank you to Lisa House Photography as well. And so with that, folks, thank you all for coming here tonight. Thank you for being online. Thank you, Minds of a Different Kind. Thank you, uh, Becky Jo Neal. No, Have a good night, yeah. everybody. See you Easy firsthand. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>